The first season of the Wargaming.net League is over, and soon the Rumble tournaments will begin. Now it's time to reflect on the last season and remember the most striking battles. Here are the top 10 unforgettable moments from matches on the European and Russian clusters. The Warriors from the RU cluster continue to please viewers with new tactics. This time, the cunning players from Navi made the enemy vehicles turn their rears towards them. They left the NSS to know that it will be the support of the base. They will pull all the power to the wall. Here, Medved on the wall, friends. Here, Medved on the wall, sitting. And what? He didn't see. Look, these guys are not seeing. All six tanks of the Navi are just coming out behind the shotgun, and the shotgun is turning. Now he will be shocked. At 6:54. What will be the shout of the NSS? What is this? What is happening? 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 Tank Wisdom says the winner isn't the one with more HP, but the one who has more reliable teammates, surviving by any means necessary in the concrete jungles of Himmelsdorf. Here's an example from Tornado Rocks. T37 coming in at the perfect time. Streko saving two players on the team. Yeah, they really have to go forwards. I mean, they have to try and find a weakness here, but Synergy aren't playing it perfectly either. They do find Ballsick. Slightly sloppy here. Elliot does get taken fairly low, and oh my god, Streko! The LTTBs performed miracles. After the grand final, Team Hellraisers looked at these tanks differently, and with good reason. It's an incredibly fast, quick-firing light tank that can even soak up some damage. What else do you need to be happy? О, есть, есть попадание от Нуры Игры, он сейчас поймет. И еще одно попадание без урона, но все в гуслю заходит третье. Все, друзья, все в гуслю заходит. Четвертое. Как удачно поставить. О, какой Нуры Игры. Шестое, шестое в землю. Красава. Это просто на мувик. Ну, правда, там, по-моему, Монти словили. Он, конечно, раскидывает Какое Сталин Дэна. словили? Тут Сталин Дэна словил Дэном... Монти. О, боже мой, как? Он пол, пол хп уже снес. Еще вошел. Если бы не Нурегре сейчас подъехавший, то Монти убил бы Сталин Дэна. Penta's desire to win the last ticket to the land final on the European cluster was so great that even in unequal skirmishes, these guys came out unscathed. See the dead zone doing a bit of off road here. Oh, as he does get the kill on Tamika as well. Swag points for the lit man. <laughs> and now Iliad's gonna barrel down the hill. The dead zone will get one free shot on him if he's on the move. Iliad stops it. He misses it. This is how it's done. The dead zone will get the second. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Artillery in the setup is always a risk. But as they say, how can you expect to beat the world champions without a little risk? The World of Tanks eSports world has heard a lot about Kiriloid's skill playing this type of vehicle. But this time, our hero outdid himself. Вообще, сейчас бы, ну, он сейчас поймет, что Страйк АД. В принципе, он это поймет. Он-то понимает, Страйк пошел просто на блок, смотри, просто на блок идет. Идет просто на блок. И Зачем пытался стрелять? загуслить, пытался загуслить, да, еще и Нир КД, 9 сек... 19 секунд, 18, 16, Толик набрасывает. Снова же... Альфа пройдет, 364, нет, 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 нормальный Нир забирает тут бой. Если Кириллоид сейчас не... Кириллоид! Попал! Попал! Two one-shot light tanks against a couple of dangerous heavies. This was a no-way-out situation for the players from Team Kung Fu PB. But the guys didn't give up, and it paid off. Да, как-то слишком прямолинейно сейчас действуют ребята из кунг-фу. Хотя вот, вот, Фир повернул ствол. Выезжает ластоноги, первый шот дает. Уходи в сейф, сразу же уходи в сейф по симплу. Еще шот, красавчик, ластоноги, альфа не проходит от соточки. Это просто кунг-фу, которые смогли сделать все так правильно, как вот подловить симпла на перетяжке. Да, Хорош, все, ластоноги! Все, закайтили, это нереальная победа команды кунг-фу. Another decent artillerist is Eurofish, who plays in Team Kaznu crew and loves delivering artillery shells. And Kaznu are playing all towards Eurofish. Let's see if he can hit it. Well, well it's Kuta. He did. <laughs>
Anything can happen in the most anticipated match of the season. Even a single 1390 can send almost the whole Navi team back to the garage. And if luck is on your side, a daring rush at a couple of IS-3s will be a cakewalk. Ой-ой-ой, засвет, промах из третьего. Второй заряжен, стреляет. Не пробейте! Гусля, гусля, нет, не пробейте, без не урона. Пробейте. Два ИСа без урона, и они сейчас на КД. И просто нужно надеяться на Альфу. Ну что, 400 и вторая Альфа какая будет? Смотрим, вторая Не альфа. хватит никакой Альфы, не хватит. Есть весь один заряд. Да, 500, и там забирать есть минус танк, фальшот и левша, и Елон, что делает? Минус! О, 75 да, и минус, минус 5! The importance of a scout in a team cannot be overestimated. The scout can spot, cause damage to the enemy rear, and capture the base if needed. Team Utopia knows what achieving victory in the modest MT-25 involves. No, he missed the shot, but so does Matt PL. He gets a shot towards Navy and he's going to get the reset down. He will be taken, well, he will be taken low if they could hit those shots. Papa does a scouting run straight through. They got to make a move at some point. Muka is healthy though, that is one thing. If he can just get a bit of a poke on, there's the reset from Papa. He's getting it done. He's backing away, he takes a hit, he gets tracked, but he's still moving and he's just keeping himself safe. Look, this is perfect. And what an MVP performance so far for Papa. They have what? got seven seconds to do get this decap. What is going on? Nevi is super low, Shock is low. Three seconds left, Muka's got to push up now. It's now or never. Utopia, will they get the capture? There's no oh. chance, there's a reset. Incredible, Papa may have got it done. He takes oh, it down, Super. Muka's got to push in and take it down FPL as well. It's done. No way out situations don't exist. At least for Shanish, a player from Team Supreme. This guy knows how to crush cabins. Shanish, 1v3, he takes down Zik, but can he deal with the rest? Ooh. Perfect work towards the T37. Now Armageddon and Bosco. Oh, oh Shanish! What is this? This is perfect play. Run he away, Shanish, run! The Armageddon needs to get this in the next 10 seconds. Shanish is backing up, he's playing it smart. Seven seconds left. Oh Shanish my gets God, it! Shanish. That was huge play from Shanish, keeping his team in the game.